So gentlemen, a very heartening news to all Nigerians. And uh, the resolution will be shared to you. And then you can be president of the NLC is here, the president of TUC is here. So you can see that it's a whole gamut and every labor movement is represented here. And uh, without really jumping the gun and preempting the gist of the resolution, the Speaker of the House of Reps is here, who would uh, go over the resolution with you, and then the comrades, President of the NLC and the President of the TUC here also will speak to those resolutions. Thank you. All right, um, let me very quickly, before we go into this, thank the TUC and the NLC uh, for their sense of duty and patriotism. As you are all aware, they've been here, we've been here for hours, I believe, since 4 o'clock. And um, still counting, we're talking about five. Actually, since last week. Uh, yeah, I mean, for today's, uh, today's session. Uh, uh, so I want to thank you on behalf of Mr. President and uh, the federal government uh, for taking time out and for your commitment uh, to good governance. Uh, we have deliberated um, and debated uh, back and forth, and we have reached, as has been said, a tentative um, agreement on uh, very salient uh, issues. Uh, and I will just basically read what we have here. And it says, following the engagements between the federal government, TUC, and NLC, with the intervention of the Speaker, House of Representatives, to resolve the disputes that arose from the withdrawal of subsidy on PMS, the following resolutions were reached. One, the federal government, the TUC, and the NLC to establish a joint committee to review the proposal for any wage increase or award and establish a framework and timeline for implementation. Two, the federal government the TUC and the NLC to review World Bank finance cash transfer scheme and propose inclusion of low income earners in the program. As you are aware, the cash, the, the, the 800 million dollar loan did not really capture uh, the low income uh, government workers. So we basically we'll be talking about how to, how, how to include them um, in that scheme. Three, the federal government, the TUC, and the NLC to revive the CNG conversion program earlier agreed with labor centers in 2021 and work out detailed implementation and timing. Four, the labor centers and the federal government to review issues hindering effective delivery in the education sector and propose solutions for implementation. Five, the labor centers and the federal government to review and establish the framework for completion of the rehabilitation of the nation's refineries. Six, the federal government is to provide a framework for the maintenance of roads and expansion of rail networks across the country. All other demands submitted by the TUC, and that's the seventh, uh, all other demands submitted by the TUC to the federal government will be assessed by the joint committee. So consequently, ladies and gentlemen, the parties agreed as follows. One, the NLC is to suspend the notice of strike forthwith to enable further consultations. Two, the TUC and the NLC to continue the ongoing engagements with the federal government and secure closure on the resolutions above. And finally, the labor centers and the federal government to meet on June 19th, 2023, to agree on an implementation framework. So this communique is signed by Comrade Osifo, President TUC, Comrade Nu Toro, Secretary General TUC, Comrade Ajero, President NLC, Comrade Emmanuel Ugbaja, the Permanent Secretary, the Federal Minister of Labor and Employment, Ms. S. Daju, and by my humble self, 
Honorable Femi Bajabi Amila, Speaker, House of Representatives. Thank you very much. I thought that the Speaker read it out. The answer, the answer to your very simple question is yes. And he has addressed that. What about the top price of petrol? Is it men at what it is today? The market forces are already determining the prices. There are frameworks that will bring that down. If the CNG is working, assuming the CNG is 100 naira per liter, people will prefer 100 naira to 500. Definitely, that will moderate it. Is it fair to say that you have shifted from the demand for we have come with a more concrete reality and framework and alternative. The CNG alternative is better than the price even before the increment. What will you do between now and June 19th? I mean, discussions with your fellow unions in preparation for further discussions with the federal government on June 19th. What I will be doing? I'll be coming to work. <laughs> How viable is the CNG alternative? How viable is the CNG alternative right now? Because it's not a very popular you know, um, alternative. Yeah, but uh, if you check, if you check countries of the world like uh, uh, Kuwait, like Qatar, and others, which large gas deposits. You agree with me that it's a very viable alternative because the deposit here can uh, sustain the country for the next 500 years. It's a clean energy, eco-friendly, and cheaper. You know, I think the whole battle we are having now is the issue of the cost being at 500. And by our last meeting, you know, during Silver's time, it was we were talking about 90, you know, 90 naira. So. If this government achieves an option or alternative that is even under 90 or 120 or whatever, I think every one of you will be clapping for them. Since they will power, you know, to achieve this. A very viable alternative is done all over. So what we need is the will power. And if we achieve that, I think there will be, you know, a lot of success, you know, a lot of progress soon made. You know, I believe that uh, what we need is for them, you know, to walk on like what we experienced before. By now, we should have gone far. You know. If we do not see the, the manifest willpower by June 19, what will be your next step? Uh, sorry, uh, to be just very quickly. Sorry, uh, the, uh, I think the committee. Yeah. Uh, gentlemen of the press, I say good evening to gentlemen of the press. I say good evening to every one of us. Um, as you could um, observe, that uh, since last week we have been having some some level of engagement on on the subject at hand, and uh, said by the Honourable Speaker, Federal House of Representatives, and my my colleague, uh, the President of NLC, uh, that uh, we've been able to put some agreement together, and. Um, the document is what was just read to you a few, few minutes ago. And uh, we from, from Labour, all we want to encourage government is to take this seriously because this government is just coming. Uh, this may be the first agreement that is being signed by, by this government that, that was inaugurated on May 29th by the Tinubu, uh, President Tinubu's administration. So I, I want us to, to commit uh, to get these issues resolved as soon as possible. So for us, uh, from Labour, we are, we, are, we are totally committed uh, to get these issues resolved for the benefit of uh, the entire Nigerians. So uh, thank you so much, and uh, I wish us a good evening. Thanks, question. two questions for the government uh, president of two years. <laughs> 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 <laughs>